one's going now too. The one on the right. Ah, oh, my goodness, this is amazing. can just about make out the fireballs on that right one because it's just starting up but once it gets really going it's just going to come out as like a big orb of light which I can already see that that's what the uh, the one on the left side is doing it's just coming out as a big ball of light on the screen but in real life it is amazing oh my gosh they're restarting up the other side of the planet. When we had all the flaring going on a couple of weeks ago that I filmed a lot of, that was one side of it getting started up. And they're now starting up the other side. So they, they warned five days ago that there would be periods of elevated flaring. But so far, this is the first time I've seen it since that warning went up. So, this is planned. Totally plan, totally safe. So, just a tad loud, but. <laughs> Once I'm back downstairs and got the t television up, they won't even hear it. You know, and if I pulled the blind down, I wouldn't even see it. But, of course, I'm not going to pull the blind down because I love to watch them. But, that's what I don't get when people miles away say how it bothers them. And I'm like, look how close I am. I'm literally right next to it. And it's not a problem. It is literally, it's not a problem. Not in the slightest. And to my knowledge, it isn't a problem for anyone in this block, or any of the other blocks that's right next to it, so... Hmm. I guess it's just a level of tolerance that some people have to... Uh, it's quietening down. <clears throat> because the one on the right has shut off basically. Oh, it's just a little flicker that's coming out of it. Uh, so. Now that it's just the one going, it's much quieter. I love how it goes from being so bright and lighting up to and it goes dead dull again and nice and like candlelight and then it just perks back up into this almighty fireball that just lights up the entire night. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful. And the little ground flare is on. And it looks like it's picking up because I can see the smoke steam rising from that a bit more. Can't see it on the screen but I can see it. And hopefully that perks up too. It will probably because I'm convinced it's connected to those back two flares. Because it always seems to be when they flare up or when they come on, the ground flare is on. Um, and when they were shut off for a good few weeks, I think it was a couple of months they were shut off while they were doing maintenance and those back two that are going just now they weren't on at all uh, and the ground flare wasn't on at all in that whole time and then suddenly when they came back on that came back on so I'm thinking that that's definitely connected to the ground f the ground flare is connected to those two chimneys up the back not the one in the middle there not the big one in the middle with a tiny little flame coming out it's connected to those back two that are flaring up. So, as it gets later, what they might do, unless there's no other alternative, they probably will, actually. They will shut that big one off a bit that's going mad just now. And they will switch the ground flare on and it will, the ground flare will be going 
all through the night, which is what it's been doing for about two weeks now, since all that other flaring started with the back two chimneys there. So, because they prefer to use the ground flare, because it minimises obviously the light, the noise, the visual. Uh, so, it's going to stop people possibly complaining as much or being quote annoyed unquote by it. So <laughs> the preferred method is the ground flare but when they have to flare off the big flares as we all know it's a procedure. Safety procedure has got to be done when it's got to be done. But once they've got to a point where they've burned off enough gas and it's safe and to turn it down, they'll turn it down and switch the ground flare up high. So I reckon that's what they're going to do in the next hour or two, possibly. Uh, I wish that other one would pick up again. It was letting off some amazing fireballs, the one on the right. But as I said, they're going to try and keep it to a minimum as much as they can or keep it to the one chimney until they can turn it off and put the ground flare on. Uh, so. Guarantee when that big chimney goes off, when it switches, when they switch that flare up down, guarantee the ground flare is going to go nuts. I'll come back and film it later if it does. Uh, see, nobody at ground level would really see that, the ground flare, you know. They'd just see a little glow or something if you were driving past, or if you were close enough, and obviously I can only see it because I have this high up head on view. Uh, living here, but to the majority of people, the ground flare, they don't even, they wouldn't even know there was a big flare inside that drum, you know. <laughs> that That's the whole idea of it, though. That's where a lot of refineries and petrochemical plants are switching to ground flares, and more and more of them are getting installed, almost to try and not replace the stack flaring, because, of course, they can't completely replace that it's needed for safety but to kind of incorporate more of the the less visible less noise kind of thing <laughs> it's just discreet that's the word I'm looking for it's a more discreet way to do it and that's that's what they want uh, course there's always going to be stack flares but we need the stack flares but the ground flares are really amazing too if they go really ha if like an odd time you can see the flames coming out of the little one there very rarely because they keep it they always like to make sure it's not visible but when they turn off the steam injector when they're turning it down or turning it up for a brief second it's just the smoke and you can see the flames popping up but it's very rare. It's just a couple of little flames that you see. But sometimes you can see lots of flames coming out the big ground flares away up the back, but they're away out the way towards the water at the dock side of the refinery where nobody can see them or that. Uh, unless you're driving through Bonnet Road. Uh, and now the ground flares up at the Fife Effeling plant, they're on pretty much all the time and there's usually visible flame from them, but uh, they only have the one stack over there. I mean, we've got thousands of stacks here, but they've only got the one big stack flare over there. And they tend to try not to use it when they can due to all the complaints and stuff they've had from the locals and all the, these action group people and all that nonsense. So they tend to have the, their ground flares going all the time which I imagine is to greatly reduce having to use the big one. But, like I said, when the big one has to be used, just like here, it has to be used. <laughs> There's no way around about it. No. 
then when they get to the it's all to do with whatever pipeline and stuff they're using as well because although that little ground flare might be connected to those back two chimneys if I'm right that doesn't necessarily mean it's connected to all the exact pipelines that they're connected to it's just it's very complex the way it works but although they can have the ground flare going at the same time they can't you know it's never usually going up really high when the stacks are really high and it's usually one goes down and the other one goes up vice versa so it must be that they have to burn off a certain amount of gas on that big stack and on all of them uh, before they can switch them off and turn to the ground flare because it doesn't look like that burns off as much it's much smaller and the flame that's inside it is obviously going to be much smaller because it rarely ever peaks over the top and the little drum uh, is very small so the ground flare it's a very small one compared to the big ones up the back. So, I'd imagine it doesn't burn off a tremendous amount of gas, well, not as much as the stacks do. But, it's still very efficient and very useful. And, like I say, places like this are trying to incorporate them a lot more now because they're so invisible, basically, and discreet. And extremely efficient so it's good that we're going to be seeing more of them I think more is to come here as well more of the ground flares and I think it's to be more of the modern ones like this little round one that we have over here because the rest of the ground flares they're all big square rectangle big massive boxes like the ones up at the Faith Ethon plant that little one here is the only little cylindrical one it's small and it's round and it doesn't look like the rest. Uh, it's very modern. It's a very modern ground flare and I believe that's what the rest are going to look like that's going to come here. So, just like a big giant shiny oil drum, <laughs> uh, basically. Uh, that's what it is, technically, I guess. Big gas drum, big oil drum burning everything up. <laughs> Inside it's like, I looked on Google Earth and it's just like, inside it's just a big grill. It looks like a big giant barbecue and I've looked up on how the ground flares work, I've watched videos on it. It's the big burners that sit at the bottom of that grill, basically like a barbecue, only it's like fuel and gas propelled rather than coal. <laughs> but it just comes up and it just... Come, the flames come up out the burner and out that big grill and that's how it works and it's the same for all of them all the ground flares that's, that's how they work it gets fed through and not everyone's got the uh, the grill thing I mean I've seen other ones in other countries that the ground flares don't have the grill base but all of the ones that I've seen here and the ones up in Fife they all have the the grill Basin them, so uh, it looks really cool though. And on Google Earth, a couple of the ones here and the ones up in Fife, you can see little flames coming out the bottom of the grill, just little ones uh, on the ground flares. If you look it up on Google Earth, uh, you'll see <laughs> you'll just see little flames coming out the uh, the big square cauldrons up the back here and the ones up in Fife and the ethylene plant. And it's really cool. I wish to take images at night when the flames were coming out really high. <laughs> God, I'm, so, I'm such an industrialist, but I love it. <laughs> uh, I think I've said this before, but living here is just like living in, if you can imagine, like, how, how could I put this? Like a little girl living in her dream Barbie mansion. <laughs> That's what it's like for me living living here, living next to that. It's just amazing. It's like everything I love. That's why I try and film so much and get so much footage of it. Because uh, it's just a spectacle and it's so incredible. And even those who don't like it can't deny that. 
it is a spectacle, especially when it goes up like that, you know. It it is amazing. There's no denying that for for the world, you know. Yeah, the ground flare's already picking up. You can see it. There's much more steam coming out it much quicker now. So see that'll be because they're turning starting to turn the big ones down. Uh oh wait, maybe not. That one's starting to spark up again. Uh, so it's like eeny meeny manny mo. <laughs> The big stack gets a couple of puffs and then it gets turned down and a little ground flare gets its couple of puffs and then it gets turned down and then it's back to the stack so it's kind of like passing the flame. minute mark and see if anything spectacular happens in the next couple of minutes. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'm gonna... I didn't mean to talk so much actually but when I just get into my industrial discussions uh, I just get really into it because I love it. I think that's the same with anyone when they're passionate about something. Oh. But <laughs> Let's hope it picks up again or the ground flare picks up again soon. Because it's getting late they'll probably try and keep it to a minimum. But we shall see. minute mark I think it's gonna stay relatively low for a wee while now I'll kind of give it the big burst uh, well, I'll come back later and if it picks up or if the ground flare really picks up which I think is more likely the case uh, so 
And that just by judging how it's been working the past few weeks, or I think ground flare's gonna pick up some. So uh, actually just give me a second. Uh, zoom in a wee bit. And you can see I've just smudged the window now. You can see there the little ground flare is already the little orange glow <laughs> starting to come. I'm out of it. So Okay, we'll come back later if it if it picks up and I'll I'll, I'll upload this one in the meantime. 